It all started back in graduate school and I was a runner and I had a running injury. So I went to see a physical therapist and they told me to stop running and just stretch. And at that point, I thought yoga was silly. I thought, okay, well this would be a way to just stretch and stay in shape. But the amazing thing was after just a few weeks, I really started to notice that it was impacting me. And um, I started to understand how my mind reacted to different types of people in different ways. And so I became calmer and less reactive. I decided to switch my research to just study yoga and mindfulness in order to better understand how it is that mindfulness can bring about such profound changes. Many people do not really understand mindfulness and yoga, and they tend to distrust it and dislike it. Part of it is because there's just such fantastical claims. You, know, you start meditating and it just completely changes your life. Yes, it can have real benefits, but it's not a magic pill. It's a little bit like physical exercise. The more you practice, the more you're gonna benefit. Gradually over time, it gets into deeper and deeper and deeper layers of, of your psyche and it starts to undo more and more and more of the issues you have. The practice of mindfulness is all about being in the present moment and being okay with things as they are. And with everything that's going on in the world right now, there's a lot of, a lot of fear. Although danger may be real, fear is optional. And mindfulness is a very powerful tool for helping us put aside the fear so we can focus on danger in a calm and centered way. Hi, my name is Sarah Lazar. I'm a neuroscientist at Massachusetts General Hospital and Harvard Medical School. I'll be talking at the Singapore Mindfulness Conference on the 23rd of August. I'll see you there.